Good morning. So here we are at a site for the first time. We have quite a growth of smooth scouring rush. This nasty little invasive weed tends to creep under the ground and you see how it's jointed. It breaks apart at these little joints and then inside each of these little joints is about six more growth points. That's a typical break right there. So if you pull this up and you leave this, there's six more points of growth inside there that'll send up six more little babies. Now here's the crazy thing. The roots are exactly the same as this, except they are black. So if you break the root, every little root segment will send up six more babies. That is why this weed is so difficult to eradicate. So we're gonna learn how to do it. It takes a lot of time and a lot of uh, commitment, but it can be done. While we're over here, I'm gonna show you another weed. This is in the same family, same idea. This one's called horsetail weed. And I believe the family name is Equestiaceae, but it's the same thing. It breaks apart into little pieces. And every single one of these has a whole bunch of new growth points. This one has two, four, six. This one has 10, 10 little, little segments coming off of there. Now these are not stems that are gonna make new um, uh, lateral growths, but they will start a new plant if you miss them. So I'll make sure to clean up all of this little mess that I just made. So here we go. Jackie is pulling up some weeds, some roots already. You can see the black root. Here, hold right there because I'm going to pull right here. Breaks apart just the same way. And it's got this... Focus the camera here. That's the inside of the root. It's a really funky vascular system going on in there. And um, if this were left in the soil, it would send up at least six more little babies. So, we don't really like this weed. <laughs> So basically what we have to do here is get under the root system and dig the whole thing up. We'll probably end up with trenches all over the place and there's going to be a network of roots going in every different direction. So I want to start a few inches away from where one is coming up. I'm not going to worry about the mulch because it's going to be gone by the end of this anyway. No, it's nothing like a dandelion. It just runs underneath all the way. Runs up. under the top. And it can go for 10, I've, I've seen it go as far as 20 feet. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a long day. Long. <laughs> Did somebody uh, plant these on purpose? No, probably a bird brought it in or something. So here's, see, there's a, here's a root segment. So these root segments, they're actually really cool looking. They have these little like, oh, what would you call this shape? Almost a pinwheel shaped vascular system, but they break apart just like the tops do. And inside are at least six little growth points. Oh, nice. So it'll send up more. So if you miss, all it takes is one little piece like this. There it goes again. And there it goes again. So, you know, this stuff, we put it straight in the bucket. Don't, don't risk losing it. it. So you, can okay. bring, you want to dig far enough away so that you can bring it up and yeah. pull you, the roots out. You want to try to not break the not root. Cut the root. Yeah. yeah, in a place where you're going to lose it. I like to sift the soil and just make sure that I've got everything in that area. So there's another one here and another one here. So I'm going to start back here. smooth scouring rush, but it's also known as snake grass, joint grass, snake grass bamboo grass. weed, sex growth balance. Infectious. 
It's nasty. There was one uh, yard I did years and years ago that luckily the the soil in the was was uh, pretty much all bark for about eight inches, mm. and the soil was really fluffy. So I just had to grab one and keep my shovel under it, and I followed it, and it just lifted. <laughs> but that one I got a good 10, 15 feet in one root. It was amazing. How far down can they go? Um, typically they go about six to eight inches down, but they can go much farther. I think I've seen it as far down as about a foot to 12 inches. 12 inches. Wow. That's the gist. So we're going to see what we can do to rip up this whole, whole bed. This whole bed. And we're going to have to take up some of the plants in order to do it. So when we get to that point, I'll turn the camera back on. We're probably going to have to dig up the whole plant, flip it upside down, get all the dirt and all the weeds out of its roots, and then replant it. Yeah. Dig up this shrub. We're finding scouring rush roots underneath it. And the goal with digging up the shrub is to get rid of these, as well as this volunteer tree that's in the middle of it. So what we've done is we go around the outside of the drip line and we dig a trench. And then after a while we're just digging underneath to take the soil out, piece by piece. <laughs> no, that one's not going to come out easily. Ah! Oh, you got some of it. Okay, so here we go. So what I need you to do, Jack, is go on the other side with your shovel. We'll do the same thing. We're going to just keep... Yep. Oh, yeah. Put yours. Lift. There we go. Wow. Now, so now it's completely free. So you can grab the root ball, not the plant. We grab the root ball. And can I have you get your shovel underneath here yeah. and leverage it up? And we'll go this way towards it. Oh, ready? Go! Got it. Okay, so now we can see the root ball, and look at this. We can get the scouring oh, rush wow. roots wow. right out of here. And we're basically going to take all the soil out so that we can see everything that's going on in here. Now, so this is a root off of the uh, arbor okay. variety behind okay. it. So it's, it's a little redder yeah. than the pyrus root. Oh, okay. Yeah. this, all we really need to do is cut these roots because I don't think this is going to come back if we get the crown. Is that common with most trees? Yeah. As long as you get the, the crown of it above the root flare, like get it down below the root flare, mm -hmm. it might send up a couple little suckers from its roots, but those are a lot easier to deal with as long as you get this big center out.
shake it a little bit. There. Woo! Got it. Oh, look at that success. Yeah. All that. Wow. Amazing. All right. So, I think that's most of it. I don't see any more rush. Here's the end of it. Well done. Perfect. Well done. Perfect. Okay, good. So I'm going to take off a few dead branches because I'm in here. Might as well. Give her a haircut. Yeah, give it a little bit of a cut. Tidy it up a bit. And then we'll uh, make sure that the hole is well sifted before we put it back in. So we're not just putting it right back into a pot of more scouring rush roots. Okay, so we've got the pyurus back in, this pyurus back in, and most of the bed has been dug up and excavated. We still need to dig up this grass. We've been dividing the grass so that we'll put back a smaller section in because what's happening here is the scouring rush along with just other weed grasses is growing through the root balls. So what I did is we dug up the grass that's over here and we pulled it apart so that we could find a couple good sections of grass root that is that is just the good grass that we want to keep. I don't think that's one of them. This is the one we picked. So we're going to put this back in. So we'll still have our nice big tall grass but hopefully without the rush and weed grass in it.